at Mary Free that um, they taught me how to prioritize and yet not trying to do too much at one time, take it step by step, and that generally has helped through through my classes. Um, I'm going to Ferris right now, and I've got a an A minus average, which is something that I'm very proud of, and uh, I. If everything works out right, I can graduate next December. So, if it wasn't for Mary Free, that I wouldn't be here, and have the ability to to walk and and handle things the way I, the way that things have been going. I enjoy work, cutting the grass, doing things on that, or I love golfing. I Kelly took us out to the uh, the meadows one day, and we went out and hit golf balls and played their short course and it wasn't just doing it it was just kind of a nice thing to go out and do something I hadn't done for so long and um, we've had wonderful uh, facilitators when Kelly left we were kind of all worrying about it but Jenny's just as nice and uh, she does a lot of things for us. Having the different people come in, sometimes she'll have um, a therapist come in. And there's some things they're doing now, especially for those that still have problems with their, their arms, uh, biofeed. Um, biofeedback. Biofeedback, and it's really amazing what they're doing now. And I'm so glad that we did, you know, just go with it because the experience was so, you know, so good in, in every aspect that um, I had no problem with the future stroke saying, Mary Freebet, don't, no place else, just Mary Freebet. The doctor and, uh, that I had at the time recommended coming here, and um, I always trusted his judgment on things. And when we came here, it was. They gave you everything you needed. If they answered questions, for me especially, they helped out with things for, for Sarah. And uh, there was never a time that I, you felt like you were in a hospital. You were more at someone's home. My experience with Mary Freebed was um, obviously different than Dave's, but um, anytime I had questions, they were, you know, everyone was very helpful, whether it was the social worker or the nurses on the floor or it didn't matter who it was. I, I could get the answers that I, you know, was looking for. Um, they would present um, ideas that just hadn't occurred to me, um, whether it was how to help him uh, figure out how to do something because he couldn't do it the same way as he did before. Um, his deficits didn't, um, you know, they weren't long lasting. So he went home, yes, he had to have a walker just for some balance until he got used to moving uh, around more. But um, there were little things that we had to adjust to, especially after the, um, the fourth and fifth stroke because he had more of the cognitive uh, problems arise then. I couldn't tell him to go down the hall into the bedroom and on the uh, left side of the closet get me the red sweater. I'd have to, it would be one thing at a time. Too much information all at once just confused him. So they explained to me how to cope with getting him to do things on a step-by-step -step basis. And um, they were, you know, they were just wonderful. I mean, there, anything that I came up with, they had an idea for. So it worked out really well. They work you hard, but you, you can see that you feel the progress as it comes along. They had me get up and try to walk with a walker, which was an experience. Um, but it seemed like it took forever to get back some of the, some of my movement in my leg, and but it, it actually wasn't that long. And by the time I left here, I, was, I could actually walk. I needed a walker, but um, 
the only thing I didn't like was the fact that I had to be in a wheelchair. At that time, I thought it was terrible, but it's un I really understood why. But they really, they do so well by pushing you that you really don't know you're being pushed. And they don't let you slack at all, but they do it in a manner that they're very courteous to you. They're, 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 they don't, well, they don't make you feel like you're you're not doing your work. They just keep encouraging you. Members of the group. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So the We've, you make a lot of friends. Um, you know the the ties that you you create. Um, you contact each other when each other out of the uh, outside of the group and uh, kind of touch bases and you know keep up on their families and so. the one thing that really came out too about the stroke group was Kelly started a uh, mentoring program and um, Sarah and I were mentors and I think we've had five people we've mentored and it's always nice to see them um, made some good friends one of the gentlemen I was in the room with couldn't use his right hand and I couldn't use my left so we'd get up at one o'clock in the morning and go to the rec room and play air hockey using our bad hands and he actually was able to use his hand much more that way and it broke up the monotony of just being in a hospital type environment. I was told that I didn't really want to come down. It was funny because they mm -hmm. pre uh, presented it to him and uh, he, I guess, was very negative about it. But then he approached me and then he was uh, appeared to be more accepting of it. But my thoughts were, oh, a group where everybody's going to sit there and whine about their condition and how they're, you know, you know, not happy with having all the limitations. And so I thought, oh, okay, you know, he was so up about it. I figured, well, we'll go. And uh, was not what I expected at all. And it was very good. Uh, everybody we met was so positive and the whole group, everything, you know, that they presented new ideas, you know, the encouragement to not give up, to move forward, everything, just, you know, everyone we met, just, it was, it was so nice to have everyone know where we're, we were coming from. And, uh, you know, every stroke is different, but still there's a commonality with uh, the experience that you have to adjust to.